Constructing the Altitude of a Triangle, Part 2. All right, the first thing you need to do is create your triangle. On the last example, I showed you this triangle and we picked this vertex to go from. Now, let's say that we had picked this vertex to go from. Drawing the altitude to the opposite side is pretty impossible there because you cannot get that right angle. So what you have to do is extend your side and then follow the same process as what we did in part one. So let's start with a fresh triangle. We'll use a similar looking triangle because of the last example. Okay, so let's say that we are picking this vertex right here and that we are extending our altitude to this side. So we need to extend the side and then continue by drawing the arcs as we had before. Now that's pretty shallow, but it should still work. So mark the two intersection points, and from there, I'm going to make this a lot smaller. We don't need all that space. We just need to get those arcs to intersect. And then when we connect the vertex to that intersection point, we have created an altitude there. Now, altitudes do not always meet inside the triangle. Sometimes they do meet outside. And that's this case that I just showed you here. 